Hello, class, the receiving students and teachers. How are you all this morning? just like you all thank you you may be seated now our last lesson once again our last lesson for the strength substrand learning outcome and the unit title that we have been on for the last two weeks and this is the third week ending all that we are still on the strand living things Substrand, nature of living things. Outcome 8.2.1 and unit title, reproduction and environment. Now teachers, this is a reminder to you once again that um, you are supposed to prepare a unit test on uh, living things and especially reproduction and environment. Uh, you should everything that has been covered you try to have a unit test set for your students to do yeah. now in a previous lesson we looked at sexual behaviors of living things now besides sexual behaviors we also looked at body structures they also contribute to uh, reproduction now I have a question here for you, the class and the receiving students. Why do animals have certain sexual behaviors? Animals, basically we're looking at animals. Uh, receiving students, you can give your answers to your teacher. Let's have Andre to give us the answer for this question. To attract the female so that they Enable to reproduce. Very good. To attract the female or the opposite sex in order for mating or reproduction. Thank you. Now, I'd like someone from the classroom students tell your teacher two sexual behaviors of animals. Two sexual behaviors of animals. We had a look at that in the previous lesson. Winnie, if you can give us the sexual behaviors of um, animals. Asexual and sexual. Okay, thank you for trying. Um, talking about sexual behaviors, how animals act towards the opposite sex to attract them. We had a look at some of them in a previous lesson. Who would like to uh, give us two of those sexual behaviors. Okay, let's have Abby. By, by dancing and their beautiful colors. Very good, dancing, beautiful colors. Beautiful colors is a body structure. Dancing is one of the behaviors. Yo, one behavior, please, sexual behavior. Uh, in dogs, they do what? Backing around and running around the female dog. Very good, thank you. So that's uh, sexual behavior of dogs. Now our lesson topic for today is, is it worth living? You have been uh, asked that question to think about. Is it worth living? What do we say? Do we say yes or no? And then why do we say yes? Why do we say yes, uh, receiving students? Please tell your teacher why you say yes. Why? Thank you, Rose. Because every living thing we produce. Very good, thank you. That's Rose's answer. Let's have someone else to tell us. That's the answer from Rose, why she says yes. Diane, what do you say? This is because we have to help each other by reproduce and increase the population of living things. Very good. So both answers, the, our two friends have given uh, all correct and good answers. And I hope receiving students, we have also done the same. 
Now, class, I'd like us to have a look at what I have with me. Now, I'd like someone uh, from the class to tell me what's wrong with this plan. What's wrong? Uh, receiving students, please, you also tell your teacher. I hope you are able to see the plan that I have. Anyone from the class? I can't have Diane again. Eddie and Christy, you are in a serious discussion. Would you like to share with us what your group is discussing about? One of you? It's dying out because it's uprooted. Very good. It's, it's dying out because it's uprooted. Uh, Eddie, how do you know it's dying out? By changing its colors and because there's no water for it to survive. Okay, so that's what uh, Eddie says. Uh, he says it's dying out because it's been uprooted. How can you tell that it's dying out? How can you tell? Can someone help uh, Eddie? Receiving students? How can you tell it's dying out? Roslyn? The leaves are lying down towards the ground. Okay, good. So she says she can tell from the way the, the leaves and the flowers, they are not standing upright. They are all hanging down, which means that the, the life support has been removed. That's why they can't, it can't, uh, it's no longer um, standing upright. Good, thank you. And this is what would happen in few days time for this plant. Sorry, this is not, the, not this uh, plant, but just an example to show you what would happen in few days time to this plant. We have one, it's dried out, it's dead now. Now, if this plant was to live, if this plant was to live, how would this plant help other living things? If this plant was to live, how would it help other living things? can discuss that quickly, uh, receiving students who do the same too. Any, any group ready? If it was to leave, how would it help other plants? Or what would happen if it was to leave? If we did not pull it out? Okay, let's have Natasha and her friends. Someone from your group? Um, it, it would be able to reproduce and make new ones. Very good, it will be able to, if it was to live, it, it will be able to reproduce and make new ones. What else besides reproducing new ones? one of its kind. What else would it do? Thank you, Natasha, for that answer. I hope our receiving students, you, so, you are also doing the same. Anything else besides the plant being able to reproduce and make many more new ones? Okay, thank you. We have Rexy. It would provide oxygen for human beings. Uh -huh. Provide oxygen for human beings. Good. Now, 
this living thing, just like it reproducing new ones for its species or uh, its kind to continue and exist, and also helping to provide oxygen and some other uh, things for living things. And it is also the same with other living things as well. Now, this plant has been pulled out, which means it's going to die and it will not reproduce anymore. So the value or what this plant is worth is no longer with it because it's been destroyed, been pulled out. Now, just like this plant, every living thing depends on each other. Example, plants, they depend on the soil, good soil for it to uh, grow well. They depend on sunlight. Humans, we depend on the plant for food, shelter. Animals also depend on plant for food and shelter too. Humans, we also depend on animals too for food. So every living thing depends on each other. Now, if one of them, one species of that plant is destroyed and it doesn't exist anymore, and whatever other living things that depend on this plant or these other living things, when they are not able to get what they need from the other living things, then they do not live because what they want from these other plants, they are not able to get. Now, we also don't depend only on living things. Our living things also depend on non-living things like sunlight, water, a type of soil. So these are some of the things that um, non, uh, non-living things help to provide for all living things. Now, we are going to go on to doing some activities. And in that activity, you have some questions, some, some other activities like drawing and all that to do. But before we go to that, I'd like us to have a look at what you and I humans must do to help living things to live for a long time. You mustn't forget we all depend on each other. Humans, animals, and plants. Now what must humans do to help other living things to live for a long time? Uh, receiving students can discuss quickly while your friends are doing the same and come up with your answer and tell your teacher. Anything from Juanita and her friends? What did you come up with? Just give me an example of what you can do to help other living things to live for a long time. Um, what must human do to help living things? Um, human Living things and non-living things rely on each other. Okay. So we know that living things and non-living things, they rely on each other. Actually, uh, living things, we, we rely on non-living things to help, help living things to live or survive. Question is talking about you. You are a human. What can you do to help other living things to live for a long time? Yes, thank you. Let's save uh, Corey. By not polluting the environment. By not polluting the environment. Now, what do you mean by not polluting the environment? What would happen when the environment is polluted? Uh, Cora, if you can uh, explain further. Um, by not destroying the plants. 
Okay, you, you gave me a good answer. You said by not polluting the environment. Now, when you pollute the environment, what actually happens? That's, that's what I'd like you to tell me. Uh, receiving students, I hope you do the same. Um, living things will die out or decrease. Very good. When we pollute, they die out or they decrease. Thank you, and you have some other answers to give me, but I will only accept that one. Now, our activity, groups one and two, I'd like you to take note of your activity. Uh, receiving students, we have eight groups. Sorry, nine groups. So each group has an activity to do. Now, in this case, we have group one and two, you are doing that same activity. Group one, please, one and two. I'd like you to take note of your activity quickly before I can go to the other groups. List some things that would happen if living things are not able to reproduce. Group three, why is the environment an important factor that contributes to reproduction? Take note of your um, question. Teachers, please help your students and get those questions done quickly so you can help and uh, get them arranged for this lesson or organized. Group four, choose a living thing and describe the habitat and the environment that is suitable for reproduction or for that living thing to reproduce. Five and six, you have to compose a song or write a poem. If you are not able to compose a song, you write a poem about is it worth living. Seven, list two ways in which you can help to maintain the reproductive processes in living things. Eight and nine, you have to draw a diagram to show the relationships between plants, animals, and human beings that make life worth living. Now, class, I have given you big papers. You have your worksheets, but I'd like you to leave your worksheets for a while, and you are going to work together as a group. Contribute your ideas and have whatever you come up with written on those big papers I gave you using the marker tool. your question you quickly discuss about it you have your what you answer written here but later on you can what you write here after a presentation you can have it into your worksheet okay you are all working on the same what there discuss together quickly have your answer written there but later from there you have it on your you your question is there what you are good you're already writing it okay Discuss together, have it written there, but later you can have it in your, what you have there on your worksheets, okay. So. Yours is not that difficult, you should get it done quickly. You should be writing now. Discuss quickly together, that's your question there. Have it written here, but after the presentation you can have it written, pop it onto your worksheets. This group works, so you all do it together here after that to go over. Five and six. Listen, you just think of a just a short poem to do with uh, why life is worth living. Just a very short poem. So you all contribute, have it written there, but later on your poem, you have it written into your worksheets, every one of you. You are doing the same, you are having a 
Okay, you are having you have to draw show relationship between plants, animals, and human beings. Now we just heard about uh, we are doing the same. Okay, if you can listen, and I go through. We are going. To, you draw a picture. We just heard about. I, I gave you examples of how living things depend on each other. Okay, one I said humans. We depend on animals and plants for food. Animals, they depend on plants for shelter, also food. Those are the relationships. So what if you are to do, you can have picture of human. You don't have to draw a good picture. Just stick, stick, drawing. And then from that human to what? From, okay, I'm just giving you an idea so you have something done like this. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We have decided to do a pyramid so from grass is the producer. Uh, okay, and then okay, the good. Idea. That's your that's your idea. Good. Okay. But if you can while you're doing somebody start having it yeah. here, written here. Okay. Somebody start having it written here. On the what what you have here, you have it on the paper. You should be having your white written quickly because very soon I'll be going to presentation. Have your answer written quickly. Presentation, we are not going to be presenting out there, you are going to move around. Okay, so you have it written, your, what you are going to, what you came up with quickly on the paper. Did you come up with your poem? Yes. Sure. Don't worry about that. Question there, you want to, you write question that takes time, so you only have your answer so you can. Class, the receiving students and teachers, this is how we are going to do our presentation. Teachers, we are not going to have it like we normally do where we get one student to get up and present in front of a class or where they are. We will be having them to move from one group to the other. A minute is given for every group. Now, every group is going to have a reporter. And that reporter remains in the group and the others move. Now, this is how we are going to move. Group nine, you move up to one. One to two, like that, all the way to nine. You're only given one minute, one minute to move around. Now, example, if Michelle is to stay there as the reporter, she doesn't move around, she stays there. And if it's Fiona, she remains there. Ella remains, I'm giving you examples, they stay there. Now the rest from Michelle's group, they move up there. Uh, group eight moves down. Michelle tells them about what they did, okay? When you move up, Fiona tells you what they did. That's how we are going to do it. Okay, you will be told when it's time to move. When you move, uh, you have to listen for a clap. One clap means for you to move to the next group. I'd like you to follow that order that I have on the screen so we can follow that. Are we all ready? So you have to choose who is going to remain in that group. Your reporter.
Once again, a reporter remains. The others are going to move. Remember by moves are so good. Down, down or so. Okay, I'd like to have all of us to stand up. We are still waiting for the others. Okay, thank you. We are going to start now. Okay, I'd like you all to move now to your group that you are supposed to go, the next group. Group one, uh, nine, you are supposed to be here. Group nine, you are supposed to be here, only the reporter remains. Now you are not to wait. Reporters, once you see that the other group members are there, you talk to them what you have done. Okay, um, listen, where you are, your friends, uh, the reporter in that group is going to I let the others know what that group has done. In that case, if that somebody is there, that person, the reporter there is going to tell the ones from group one who came over what you have done, what answer you have written. That is how we are going to do it. So now you should start to tell your friends, uh, receiving teachers, what, what we have planned to do. Uh, you have seen the instruction Now, the reporter was to remain and uh, reports to every group that moves around. However, we are not able to do that, but I hope uh, receiving students, uh, teachers, you are able to do that with your students at your own time. So every student in the class knows what other groups have uh, come up with their answers. Now, for our lesson, we will only have one movement so all the students should be in another group, and we will have the reporter in that group, uh, the original group to report to the new group that has moved to his or her group to share with the others what answers they got for the activity. Okay, if I can have the reporters, you can start reporting to your friends what you have. If animals and plants are not able to reproduce, there will be no food for human beings. And also the number of living things will de decrease and the economy will drop. Economy means what will benefit from it. Thank you. Okay. Okay, this is a food pyramid showing to yeah, us okay. about the relationship between plants, animals, and humans. And as you can see above, over here, is how a diagram showing the relationship between um, humans, plants, and animals. Firstly, um, there are the, these are the producers, the, the first producers, which are Plants. Plants produce food, firstly, with high energy. Second is um, the first uh, consumers, the ones that consume the plants, and they get the second amount of energy. Thirdly, above, as you can see on the tip of this pyramid, is humans, and they are the second consumers. So this diagram also shows us the relationship or how humans, um, animals and plants are linked together. Okay, class, uh, thank you. I'd like you to move back to your uh, original groups.
Now I'd like us to have a look at a summary for this lesson. The first one says, living things live in order for life to continue or exist. Have it written quickly. Second summary point says all living things need each other's for survival or each other's to live. Examples, animals need shelter and food from plants. Humans need food from plants and animals. Living things also need non-living things to live or for survival. Examples, plants need water, good soil and sunlight to live and reproduce. The last one, humans must respect and value living things. Respecting and valuing meaning we mustn't pull them up like I did, but anyway I had a good reason to pull this plant out or breaking branches, burning bushes. phrase Nancy you can tell us what you think a key phrase for this lesson is Mike who's got the mic oh. is it worth living things mm -hmm. is it worth living things anybody else has another besides Nancy's Juanita It's worth living. It's worth living. Okay. It's worth living. Life is worth living. There is a key phrase for this lesson, uh, uh, class and uh, receiving students and teachers. Now, our next lesson is going to be on biodegradable and non-biodegradable materials. Now, class and uh, receiving students, your homework, try to find out what biodegradable and non-biodegradable materials are. And also, um, if you find out what it means, you try to start collecting materials. Any materials are receiving students and a class too. Any type of materials that you have at home, 
or that you see lying around, you collect them and bring them so your teacher can put all of them properly in a box and keep them for this lesson. And uh, also the model class, you should also do the same. And with that uh, class, the receiving students and teachers, uh, thank you all for your participation.